Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline and currently a pilot as well. Still Yay! super excited about that. Yay. Um, anyway, this video is a little bit different, but this is my best friend Jessica. Hello. She is visiting from California for a very specific reason. I am touring some oral surgery programs out here in Florida, so I'm super excited. Maybe move here one day. Who knows? Yeah, she is basically an oral surgeon, which is pretty cool, <laughs> like to say the least. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but today, since she's here, we figured we would do a taste testing for Tri Treats. Get yourself a Tri Treats box. And so I've talked about this box before. It is a subscription company that they send you a new box every month. And basically every month it's a new country. So I've done Brazil box and a Philippines box before. No idea what's in this box. I don't know what kind of treats are, are in here, but we're excited. So I figured I would share my excitement with her. I like free treats, so yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Also, if you guys want 50% off on your first box, it is Jet Set with Jess for the code, and it's all capital. So I will link that in the description box below. And let's start these taste testing. Let's do it. Last time I opened it on camera, oh man, I need a knife. <laughs> oh, it has to be, it's Japan. Yeah. So it's Japan, obviously. Ooh. So cool. This is really awesome. I'm also dying to go to Japan, like, yesterday. <laughs> All right. So they always give a little description of what's what's like inside the box. And they tell you a little bit about the country. So super cute. Very pretty. Yeah. So it tells you facts and stuff about Japan. So you read it. All right, Japan facts. Population is 127 million. Um, the capital is Tokyo. The national holiday is the emperor's birthday, coming of age day, greenery day. There's a bunch of different holidays. Yeah, a lot. There's a lot of did you know facts. Did you know Japan consists over 6,800 islands? Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Very cool. And sushi rolls. The word sushi refers to cooked rice that is seasoned with vinegar, sugar, and salt and filled with other ingredients like seafood and vegetables. Gives you a little recipe for sushi rolls. Oh, that's cute. And how to make them. Cute. The Japanese recipe of the month. Very cool. Wow, okay. This card says, welcome to Japan. This month's treats come to you from Japan and enigmatic country located in Asia. Japan is a country known for its innovation. Despite most of its land being usable for industrial purposes, Japan has become one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world. Luckily, Japan's spirit of innovation carries over to its treats too. Mm. As you dig into your box this month, you will encounter treats ranging from unique savory Japanese snacks like cheese, a rare by I'm definitely going to say all these names wrong. <laughs> Haruyana or Haruya, whatever. And butter cookies by Pandero, along with traditional snacks like Shinsu bean paste by Katagawa and more. <laughs> the Japanese are known for the attention to detail and craftsmanship they put into their work, and this applies to their snacks as well, as their snacks are made with care and the finest quality of ingredients. We can't wait for you to try these treats we found for you this month, and we'd love to hear your feedback on which treats you like the most. Super cool. sweet. Yeah, bon appetit. So yeah, I love how it's in surprise every month. That's mm -hmm. really cool. And then here they have the list of all of the snacks itself. Um, we'll just read them as we go. All right, starting with the first one. So this one right here is, let's look right on the map. Um, veggie Tabero is a great healthy snack from Kalibi made from three different kinds of vegetables with a light, airy, and crunchy texture with a savory flavor. Cool. I'd like it. Yeah. I like how it has like a sweet taste to the end. Like veggie chips. What? Yeah, it's like veggie chips. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, the same thing. A little more seasoning though. You think like, they're a little bit more seasoning? Yeah. Like they're more seasoned. Yeah, these yeah. are more seasoned. Like they're also, flavor. They're cuter for sure. I mean, the veggies like. They're like little hearts. They have faces on them. <laughs> Who doesn't like faces on their food? All right, next one. These are the cheese of rare. All right, so cheese of rare are traditional bite-sized rice cake crackers 
and each tiny cracker is gener generous generously <laughs> That was like generosity. Okay, generously coated with salty cheese seasoning. Okay. I love when, I like the cheesy stuff, so. <laughs> I never open these. I'm done with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks like Fritos. They look like Fritos. They're not as cheesy as I thought. I thought they'd be more cheesy. Yeah. Not bad, but I thought they'd be more cheesy. I think the veggie chips have a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. But they're still good. The, the description is right. They are airy. Very airy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we'll like rate it at the end. Okay. These are another like veggie chip thing as well. So these are another. It's a potato vegetable. Um, our tasty but healthy potato stick snacks. Each crunchy piece is made of potatoes from Sapporo Perfector and contains seven kinds of minced vegetables. Oh. These seem healthier than chips. The US. Like, yeah, <laughs> than stuff you find here. They have veggies on them. Of course they're healthier. Mm. Oh yeah, these are good. They're like really skinny. Yeah. These are good too. I like these. I think I still like the first one better, mm -hmm. but uh, I like these better than the cheese ones. Okay, we'll do this. It's called Big Full. No idea. Big Marshmallow. It's a big marshmallow. It's literally a big marshmallow. <laughs> okay, what does it say? So, Big Marshmallow is a large sized marshmallow. It has a chewy texture and a slight delicate sweetness. You can also try putting it in the fridge to change the texture. Mm, it's kind of <laughs> okay, just like yank a little piece off. You make it sound easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fern. Okay, it's definitely a marshmallow. <laughs> Tastes like, it is like a marshmallow. marshmallow. Literally. I've never seen an individually wrapped marshmallow before in my life. Especially ones that large. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they give you a hot towel? Like in the it, in the plane? In the plane. Yeah. It's kinda what it looks like. It does look like a hot towel. <laughs> hot towel that's a marshmallow. Cool. Okay. This one has a panda on it. Super cute. This is butter cookie. Butter cookie by Pandaro Pandero are light and crispy butter cookies in the shape of a panda inspired by butter bread in Japan. These cookies are a delight. These cookies by one. There's <laughs> one. It has oh, it's very cute. And a little face on it. Cute. Can I break it in half? Cute. Hmm. It's definitely buttery. Mm-hmm. Delish. Love it. I like okay. that one. Yeah, me too. Okay. This one is something with chocolate. So this the, the wording is like I just would love to go to Japan and like not be able to understand the thing. It's kinda cool. I'm sure that's exactly what's gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. happen. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Mugai chocolate is a classic dagshi treat made of puffed wheat or barley thinly coated with chocolate glaze. Yeah. All right. So not Reading comprehension was not my strong suit, guys. Good thing you don't need to read to be violent. <laughs> yeah, you do. I know. You literally have to read, write, and understand the English language. English is fine. English was fine. They look like little coffee beans. Mm. They're like, mm. they kind of have a coffee taste to them too. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. These looks like little rice cakes, like chip rice cakes. Eat up. 
Jacomi Nourisho. All right. All right, let's just try it. <laughs> um, it's a lightly grilled senbi, which is a Japanese rice cracker, which is rich in green laver in the mouth, it is finished with a mellow salty taste <laughs> that brings out the flavor of kelp and bonito. Here you go. Thanks. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. This is really good. It tastes like seaweed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite one so far. Mm -hmm. This one, then the veggie snacks mm -hmm. that we have first. Okay, that was really good. All right, let's do this one. So it's like a little cookie. It doesn't really have a description or a name. It's Oh, bean paste? I wonder if there's something here. Cool. So it's this Shinshu bean paste. Um, their donuts are perfectly coated with a light dusting of sugar and stuffed with a sweet and fragrant red bean paste. They are individually wrapped with a soft, chewy texture and are perfect as a snack or dessert. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. Mm -hmm. I love um, the sesame seed buns. Have you ever had that? So good. Yeah, for like dim sum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, it's actually not that easy to cut. Mm -hmm. So inside of it is like there's a little bean paste. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a mini donut. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's actually way better than ours. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> That is really good. This is another little cookie type of thing. It's a maroon pie or maroon pie. Our mini pies that have chestnut, which is, mar oh, maron. I guess it's a filling. Like moron. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not how you spell that. You're it's very soft from the outside and strong matcha flavor on the inside. A very good snack to try for anyone who loves Japanese products. Let's Ooh, matcha. I don't like have matcha ever. I feel like. Do really? you? Well, you're from California. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Here Just we go. Just oat milk. Straight out of the car. <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> I do a whole time. I'm not judging you. She judges, judges me because I eat or drink oat milk. <laughs> Not what, this one's actually really good. Not what I expected. It has like a filling inside. But when they said matcha, <coughs> I expected it to be green. I don't know much about matcha. It's because you don't live in California. I know. Inside joke, but yeah, she likes oat milk by itself. <laughs> All right. In the comments below. <laughs> so it was really funny because we made this inside joke and then she's like, do you want anything from the store? I was like, yeah, oat milk. She's like, really? <laughs> so I got it for her, being the good friend that I am. And I was like having a, like a, an issue with crew scheduling that I was getting off this trip earlier. So I forgot to reply. Like, no, I actually just kidding. So she almost bought it because I had to like go back and be like, oh, actually, I was just joking. It's a joke. <laughs> Did you see the milk creamer I got in the fridge? Oh uh, no, I didn't see it. <laughs> I was gonna put a little post note on this and said, I don't want to hear anything <laughs> for Jessica's only. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is another candy. So it's Ramoon candy. I don't know. Experience the refreshing taste of Ramoon drink in this pack of. Oh, it's a drink. Ronmium candy. Oh, they're tablets. Oh. We have to mix it with water. No, it's just they those... come in handy. Cod neck bottle, just like the iconic bottles of soda at Japanese oh, summer festivals. Oh, you know the drinks where you push the marble in. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm already well traveled. <laughs> <laughs> they're like very. Um, popular or if you go to like Asian markets they have those like drinks and you push the marble in and then it like fizzes the soda it's like Japanese soda I guess I also it, in California you are way like there's way more like Japanese yeah stuff, there's like, a ton of stuff more Asian and maybe. it looks just like this bottle actually 
It's in a little container that's really cute. This reminds me of those containers that you used to like take the lid off like that and like fruit punch or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's like shaped like this and it's like plastic. Or you twist the top off. Yeah, you like yeah, twist yeah, the yeah. top off. Yeah. It's like straight sugar. <laughs> yeah, literally it's so bad for you. As we eat this, sugar. <gasps> mm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty sweet <laughs> it just like disintegrated so fast yeah i did i was expecting a hard candy to it, chew it tastes it it's basically a, a smarty yeah, yeah but softer yeah yeah i'm gonna have that one it's actually it's not i mean it's good i think it just threw me off it like dissolves so mm -hmm. so fast but yeah, it tastes exactly like a Smartie. I like it better than Smarties. Smarties take too long to dissolve. I think you're supposed to chew them. Uh -oh. Well, <laughs> I've been eating it wrong my whole life. Okay, I think that's it. Those are really good. Yeah, they were really good. So, from my, we'll say top two of sweet and top two of salty. Okay. So, my top two salties are for sure going to be that cracker mm -hmm. that we had. So, it's the... Ni Nigata cracker. It's the one that we said tastes like seaweed. That, that's mine. And then I also would say probably these veggie chips for the savory ones. I would agree. Those are my top two. Those as well. two as well. Okay. So what are your favorite sweet ones? My favorite sweet ones are probably the butter cookie. That one was really good. The panda. Yeah, the panda. And then the other one was. Probably the little chocolate coffee bean ones called covered in wheat. Okay. Those are really good too. I think I liked, I think mine, are, mine would be different. Mine is the the shinshu bean paste. Mm -hmm. That one, I really like that one. It's oh, definitely okay. really good. And I'm gonna go with the, the chocolate one as well. What is it? I feel like we had something else. Why am I? The, oh, the pie, the, the matcha mm. one. This one? Yeah. Still feel like we're missing something? I feel like we're missing something. That's it. No, that's it. Yeah, I would say I would say the the pie actually was pretty good too. Now I'm gonna go with the bean paste and these chocolates. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah, that's it. Alright. That's it for this video. Really excited to get next month's Try Treats box. Make sure you guys get a Try Treats box if you're interested and you wanna try new snacks and kinda get in experience of a culture before even going there which is why mm -hmm. i think this is so cool and yeah i'm excited for my next one and maybe Dustin and i will do another video together since she's here for two weeks woo mm -hmm. all right thanks for having me yeah of course thanks for coming and staying with me and being my friend <laughs> and yeah all right guys thank you all so much for watching i appreciate all your support and i will see you in the next one beijing news ciao ciao bye